Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Register for Dinner. I'm your host, Sebastian Register, and today we've got a very special video because we're working closely with my good friends at Aki Homes and making some air fryer chicken wings with a homemade buttermilk ranch. So stay tuned. So the very first thing that we want to do is we want to prepare the homemade buttermilk ranch because that needs to sit in the refrigerator and marry for at least an hour. So to this bowl I have one cup of mayonnaise and half a cup of sour cream and I'm going to add another half cup of buttermilk. And this is pretty easy guys, the great thing about it is you just put everything into the bowl and whisk it together and then you're good to go. For the spices, I have 1 fourth of a teaspoon of ground mustard, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of onion powder, and then 1 eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. The cayenne pepper is optional. If you like a little bit of heat, please add more. I'm also gonna add 1 teaspoon of kosher salt, half a teaspoon of freshly ground black, pep or black pepper, One teaspoon of lemon juice. And now we're gonna to move to our fresh ingredients. You're gonna to wanna to start the process off by taking two medium-sized cloves of garlic and giving them a chop until they're nice and finely minced. Once that's completed, you'll set them aside and move to the next ingredient, which is gonna be about three tablespoons of fresh flat leaf Italian parsley. Yes, you can use curly leaf if you'd prefer, but I just like the flat leaf Italian parsley. So you'll start off by removing the stems from the parsley, rolling it up to a bundle, and then taking your knife and doing one clean rough chop through. Once that's completed, you'll then move on to the mincing by taking two hands and using it as a rocker to rock back and forth through the parsley until it's nice and minced up. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this recipe will call for a lot of chopping and mincing, but believe me, because the end result is totally worth it. So once your parsley has been minced, or minced up, you will then move on to the next process, which is taking two tablespoons of fresh dill and mincing that up as well. Now, to be completely honest, I'm not a huge fan of dill, um, but for this recipe, especially ranch, it is absolutely required. So just like with the parsley, you're gonna remove the dill from its stems, roll it up to a bundle, and run your blade through it until it's nice and minced up. You gotta love the power of editing just to speed these things up. So after that's all completed, you will then move on to the final step, which is one tablespoon of fresh chives. I love chives. I think they're packed full of flavor. To me, they're just like miniature versions of green onion. And they're very easy to cut because they're already small and thinly sliced, so I just ran my blade through them once. But once that process is complete, you're then gonna take the mixing bowl um, and you're gonna add all the herbs and garlic to the bowl because you're gonna wanna whisk all that together until it's nice and well incorporated. Once that's been all mixed together, just saran wrap it, place it in your fridge for at least an hour, but honestly, you can do this the day before because the longer, the better. It's chicken time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna prep our chicken for the air fryer. So in this bowl, I have some lovely chicken wings, about 20 of them, and I'm gonna toss them with about a tablespoon or so of olive oil. Give them a very light toss. Make sure that each chicken wing is evenly coated in the oil. All right, and guys, if you haven't checked out my rib sandwich video, please click the link right above um, because this is gonna be the rub that I used for the ribs in my rib sandwich uh, video. So I'm gonna add that to the chicken wings and be very generous with the rub. Again, give it a nice toss. Make sure that each wing is nice and covered in that delicious barbecue rub. All right, that's perfect. I'm gonna let these sit and mar or marinate for about a half hour before I place them into the air fryer. Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you the Alpha Lee Air Fryer Oven by Aki Homes. This air fryer is incredible. It has so many bells and whistles from extra crispy to air fryer, air grill, bake, and even to hydrate. I'm pretty sure you can cook a cake in this thing if you wanted to. So the very first things that we're gonna to wanna to do is press the button to open the lid to the air fryer, and we're gonna start loading in our chicken wings. I'm gonna load in roughly around eight to 10 wings. It really depends on the size. You wanna be sure not to overcrowd the basket. So depending on the size, you may have to do some shifting around to make sure that the wings do not touch. 
inch. Um, oh, I didn't uh, forget to mention that prior to loading in the wings, I did preheat the air fryer at 400 degrees for two minutes, just to make sure that they evenly cook throughout the process. So what I'm doing now, like I said, is I'm loading in my air fryer. I don't know about you guys, but I'm a flats guy, so I made sure to put some extra flats. So comment below which you prefer, either drums or flats. Oh, and um, you don't have to do it awkwardly like me, so it does have a removable basket for easier loading and also easy maintenance and cleanliness. So close the air fryer. I'm going to turn it on, set the air fryer to obviously air fryer mode, 400 degrees. Um, and then I'm gonna adjust the time down to 10 minutes. So I'm gonna cook the first half um, of the chicken wings on 10 minutes, and then I'm gonna open up the air fryer, flip them, and then cook for an additional eight minutes, just to make sure that they get nice, crispy on all sides. Also, guys, how cool is that see-through glass so you can watch as your food cooks throughout the entire process? Winner, winner, chicken dinner, it's almost time for plating. But first, we gotta make the honey barbecue sauce, which is actually really easy, because you're only gonna need about a cup of barbecue sauce, whatever barbecue sauce you like. I'm actually using Sweet Baby Ray's, just their original barbecue. That looks about good. And I'm gonna do about a fourth of a cup of some honey. Give it a quick whisk. Perfect. And now it's time to start tossing the wings. Gonna open up the air fryer. Look at those bad boys. Start tossing them into the pot. Give them a little toss. They smell so good. Time to start plating these beautiful wings. And guys, these really took no time at all. I mean, honestly, all together for 16 wings was about 25, 30 minutes. Finish it off with just a little bit more chives. And there you have it, guys. Some delicious, yet so easy, air fryer chicken wings. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Once again, my name is Sebastian Register, and this is Register for Dinner. If you enjoyed today's video and can't wait for us to cook something else up, make sure you smash that like button, comment below, and subscribe. But until next time, stay hungry, my friends.